Um, my mom left my dad when I was like two years old. I, I don't really know that whole part of my life. How many kids does your dad have? My dad has like 15 kids. We're gonna be talking about babies this whole uh, mukbang. Today we were also talking about baby names. Well, first of all, Julian wants to have a lot of kids. All right guys, so we just finished putting away all our food if you haven't yet. Go watch the freaking ultimate shopping, but we got Taco Bell. I usually never Sorry. eat Taco Bell, I really don't like Taco Bell, but y'all like Taco Bell, so I was like, you know what? Let me give y'all a Taco Bell. Let me give it another try. Last time I ate Taco Bell, made my, it made my stomach hurt. Remember when I told you I had that pain, like right here? Mm -hmm. That was the night I got Taco Bell. Yeah, so hopefully it don't make my stomach hurt. There's no extra straw? Yeah, it's inside. It's inside. Yeah. But we're gonna be talking about a few topics. Let us get a few bites, because I haven't ate since. A long time ago. Food is kind of cold. But I got a crunch wrap. Not bad, not bad. And their hot sauce. I, I like a, their hot sauce. Yeah, I got a burrito supreme. Yo, in the comments below, let me know what y'all get from Taco Bell. Mmm. 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 Those are sound good. I told him to get that because I feel like everything else on the menu you weren't gonna like. I mean, this is good, but let's see what else we got because we might have got the wrong things to get. There might be a little secret menu or something that we're supposed to yeah. know about. Mm, 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 mm. This is good too. This is my first time trying it. Bro, the, Supreme, the burrito supreme? One out of 10. Like a seven. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about, we're gonna be talking about babies this whole uh, mukbang. So first, I kind of want to talk about like growing up a little bit. So like, how old was your mom when she had you? So my mom actually, my mom had a high risk pregnancy of me. I was yeah, sitting, we talked about this. Today. Yeah, it's gonna get a little personal, but my dad used to hit my mom when she was pregnant of me. So my mom used to suffer a lot. Basically, she used to cry a lot, and so that made her pregnancy a high risk pregnancy. She used to stress a lot. She also worked at this like restaurant place and she was kind of like the manager. Oh. So she was standing up all day and she would just be tired all the time and stressed. And then like on top of that, she came home to like my dad, like screaming and hitting her and shit. And so um, when she was pregnant of me, the doctors told her that, um, that it was like, you know, high risk. And so they actually advised her to abort like. Yeah, and today we were talking about abortions. Like we were talking about Kanye West and like mm -hmm. his whole like how he almost aborted his daughter. And then Rosada told me that, but she just told y'all, and I was like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Thankfully, yeah. you're still here, mi amor. My mom, um, her her water broke, and then when she was waiting in the in the bus, like, cause she, did, she didn't used to have a car. Mm. So she used to take metros everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so one time she was waiting at the, at the metro, I don't know where she was going, but her water broke while, I mean, in the metro stop. And so, since like all of the water from like, I, I don't know what what happens when you're pregnant, but I used to, I hid under her rib when she was like giving birth. And so like the doctors, she almost had a, a C-section, but thankfully she didn't. Well, yeah. And Rosa told me that since her mom cries a lot or cried a lot whenever <laughs> she was pregnant with her, that that's probably why. That's probably why I cry a lot to Yeah, Rosa does cry a lot to be honest, but it's okay, I learned. It was like the first time I saw you cry. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> My mom, she had me when she was like 21. Mm -hmm. Almost time. <laughs> we'll get to that point. <laughs> um, but yeah, she had me when she was 21. Then she had my sister the next year on my birthday because you know we got the same birthdays. And then we left. And that she had us in El Paso. I was born in El Paso. You know, like. Wait, you're turning 21. Gemini's turning 20. Mm -hmm. So as soon as. As she had you, she got pregnant again? Basically, yeah. Like, wow. maybe maybe a couple months like yeah. uh, uh, later down the road, but somehow we had, like, born on the same exact day. Wow. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the same situation. Mm -hmm. um, my mom left my dad when I was, like, two years old, I think. And she, she drove from El Paso all the way to San Antonio, which is, like, eight hours. And she left him because, like, you know, bad environment, bad situation, probably hitting her. I don't know, I really don't. I, I don't really know that whole part of my life. I don't recall it. 
But yeah, she left him, which is the, you know, the best choice she could have did. You know, she did it for us. She always told us, you know, better opportunity, better environment. She didn't want us growing up like that. And I'm thankful that she did, because that made me the person I am today. Yeah, my mom was pretty young. And like you said, she had me at 21. My mom, I think she had me like in her, in her 30s, but she had my first sister when she was 16 or 17, something like that. Damn. But yeah, you know my dad, he also, when I was a baby, I think it was like seven months. My mom told me that we had like a high bed, like kind of a little bit higher than the one we have. Mm -hmm. And we used to have a f floor, like wooden floors in the, in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And my dad, he dropped me from the bed to the floor and I turned purple. My mom said I couldn't breathe. So maybe that's probably why I'm a little crazy. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, like he dropped me and I turned really purple and my mom said I couldn't breathe. So that was kind of, I don't remember. I was a baby. How many kids does your dad have? My dad has like 15 kids. For real, for real? Yeah. My dad has like 12, 15. Yeah, my 14, dad has a lot of kids. Somewhere around there. Wait, for real? Do you know all of them? No, like, I just are, know are like- they here or El Salvador? Or? They're in El Salvador, but some of them moved here. They actually lived with him for a couple well, years. Yeah, but he has like 15 kids. He's just hit and dip. Yeah, that's kind of how my dad is. Yeah. Except that was the first one. But with my mom, he only had two. Mm. Me and Hoed. So me and Hoed had the same dad. Wait, so you and Hoed have the same dad, right? Yeah. Did Hoed, like, did he see your dad or talk to him or anything? Well, actually, my dad was at the hospital with my mom when I was born. But he wasn't there when Hoed was born. So that's why Hoed doesn't have my dad's last name. But with my dad, when I was born, he actually like lived with me and my mom and like my sisters. So I was like, maybe like a year, two years old. I don't remember. But with Joel, he never lived with Joel. So he would just go visit Joel. So Joel never had a, like, a, like a dad bond. Neither did I. Yeah. And you know, when we were little, they used to always say like, I mean, even like all the psychologists are going to say that. Like that's why like, you know, a lot of kids are bad or you know, like, is there a father pick around? Mm -hmm. They always, like that was the number one thing they went for. But there's so many like success stories of people that don't have dads, people that, you know, don't. Aww. Yeah, um, but even, not even me though, like, you know, basketball players, athletes, you know, mm -hmm. people that do business, like all kinds of people. So I don't know, I still feel like that's not an excuse. You know, at the end of the day, like there's people that don't have any parents, you know what I'm saying? They didn't, you know, or they might've seen their parents like taken away from them or. Wait, but. Orphans or you something. like didn't grow up with your dad, right? No. So I did. I did grow up with my dad, like seeing him. My mom had boyfriends, but like, you know, they weren't like hard. So I feel like I, was them. I used to cry a lot over my dad. Like he disappeared for like from when I was like eight till I was like eleven. And then one day I randomly asked my my mom, I was like, Mom, like what happened to my dad? And then she was like, I don't know where he's at. Like he had she hadn't been in contact with him. And so we we still used to be in contact with my Theo, which is his his brother. Mm -hmm. And so my mom called my Theo, and my Theo called my dad, and like we reunited after like three four years. How was it though? I cried. To be honest, like, I was bawling my eyes out. I, I can only speak for myself, but I don't know about Gemini and Angel, but like like me, I never really like cared. Like I never really thought about it. Like. My mom was my mom, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't yeah. really, like... But maybe because... I, I didn't feel like I needed anybody else, but I think the first... Now, not the first time I saw mine. I think we traveled to San Antonio, I mean, to El Paso. Mm -hmm. I think, like, 07, 08, and I think that's when we first saw him for, like, the first time in a while. But the, the time that I really actually remember seeing him was, um, he was in jail. And we went and went to go see him. And that, that time I remember, cause like, I was like a little more grown, like 10, 12, I don't know. And we all saw him at the jail and it was like a little playroom, like he can like visitation, that's what it is. And I think he was in jail for like child support or something like that. My dad has child support too. That's the only reason he would see me. <laughs> cause he had to like spend time with me. Like it was a rule. <laughs> but that was the only other time. Or it was, I think it was like three times. So it was that time, the jail one, and then we went like in like 2012 or 11 or somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even more recently. Yeah, my dad, things. that's the reason why why I would see him. Because, like, he had to, like, see us. Like, my mom would have... She, she had custody of us. 
but he would like have to come visit still. Right, yeah, yeah. But like me, it didn't really bother me. Gemini, I don't know. She never really talked about it. I'm assuming it does because I feel like with girls, like they more like wanted mm -hmm. that. And Angel, Angel, he he kind of question like yo where's it? he's the one that said yo where my dad at you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> for real yeah like he's the one like where the hell he at you know what i'm saying you know as you get older you kind of just accept it and realize it, like but yeah. you don't just deal without a dad like you don't need him you know what i'm saying yeah when i used to be little i always used to defend my dad and everything like when my mom talked shit about him i used to defend him and yeah, i mom, feel like that's how girls are yeah. they're always like daddy you know daddy, yeah dad, dad. even mom, though they they like do the yeah the, he used to do like bad shit and i used to defend him from my mom but uh as i grew up like well like when i used to defend him my mom used to be like oh like when you're growing up you're gonna like realize everything that he's doing like this and that and now that i'm like growing up like he did some fucked up ass shit like he used to like manipulate me and shit like lie to me <laughs> so i don't know i think as you grew up Wait, you, realize. you still talk to him or like, yeah still... i still talk to him sometimes last time i talked literally i talked to him like two months ago or like yeah. a month ago i think Damn. yeah for me, it's just like, it's just like a person, you know, like, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't even consider him my friend, but it's just like somebody, you know, like, it's hard to build a relationship with somebody you don't even know who the hell they are, you know, like, so yeah. that's why whenever we met him, I'm like, what the hell, like, what am I saying, <laughs> you're not my dad, you know what I'm saying, like, you're not gonna tell me, like, I don't know, like, it was just another person. It's a really awkward kind of experience, but hopefully one day, um, I mean, I do want to know who created this wonderful beast right here. So maybe one day I'll go visit him and just ask him some questions. I want to ask him like about my genetics and family. That's all I want to know. Like, yo, when am I going to go bald? You know, why do I have big ears? Like, what, what does our family look like? Like, I just want to know that. Cause like, he's always been bald. So like, I don't even know when he got bald. Like, does he have gray hair? Like, yeah, you see like, for you it's different cause me like i know my grandma from my dad's side like we know everyone from my dad's side but mm. i feel like you're like it's different yeah so saying all those things is there any anything else you want to get out with your dad or mm, no all right so saying all those things guys i really i didn't even know we we're gonna start off like that but i really just wanted to i think it's good that we started it like that because now we know how we do not want to raise our family all right what we don't want to put our kids through and how we do not want to raise our family like that. And I don't want to get it wrong and twisted and y'all think we're already thinking about starting a family, you know, we barely moved in together, but yeah. I feel like it's cool to talk about, you know? Yep. Um, especially since, you know, we're, gonna, we're committed, we're gonna be together for a long time, so might as well talk about it. But. Yeah, but people on TikTok, I had seen a comment on TikTok and they were like, it was a, a TikTok of me with my niece. I was carrying her and I made a TikTok. And this person was like, it's so sad how, she, like, they barely moved in and, like, they already want to start a family. Like, no, like, we don't want to start a family yet. Like, nah. it's going to be me and him for a long time. Like, just us two for a long yeah, time. Yeah, because Rosa hasn't been able to, like, even travel. Like, I feel like yeah. that's a big thing that I want to experience with Rosa. And, you know, I always wanted, like, before I would always travel with JR, but, you know, like... That was my son, you know, but I, I don't know. I want somebody to travel with, and now I got somebody to travel with. So um, we haven't even oh, accomplished that really part. Great. You know, we're gonna travel hopefully to like everywhere. Like I want her to experience, and I want to experience like how other people live, other cultures, seeing what the whole world is like. You know, how people live, what how they eat, travel. I want to go to Japan, Italy, everywhere. Yeah. But today we were also talking about baby names <laughs> actually it just came up once but we were watching you and the girl from you is called delilah and so julian already has the name for a girl and i actually really like it he likes the name kaylani for a girl yeah Kaylani. and then um the girl from you is called delilah and i was like kaylani delilah so kaylani delilah. we already have a girl name but i want a boy first but i've already <laughs> got the girl name so i really need to get the guy's name i don't know yet though like I don't have no guy names. I know if I do have a son, like, it gotta be something exotic. Like, something like, it's not gonna be no Max, no Ben, no. I just need, I want something like different. Like, something. Joe Goldberg. Joe Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not Joe. I don't know. It gotta be something really thought out. Like, um, how did you come up with the name Kaylani? It's not a girl, I promise you. No, but you better not have come up with it with another girl, like. Oh, like me and her came up with that name? Yeah. Nah, I came with that by myself. I remember I was on live and we were just talking about it and I was like, I like to be a kid. Okay. <laughs> you don't have any boy names? I like Sebastian and Santiago. Hell no. And Santiago. Hell no. 
Santiago. Yeah, Santiago. Why Santiago? I've been liking the name since I was little. Oh, well, better get out your brain because we're not naming our kids <laughs> Santiago. Or Matthew. I like, no. No, I like Matthew nope. too. No. You know, I wanted Howard to be called Rafael when I was little. Like when he, he looks was, like he looked like he could be Rafael. When, he was, when my mom was in the hospital and she was giving birth, like she was about to give birth to him, she was on the phone with my sister, and my sister was actually the one that picked they didn't out, know the names. Or? No, she was actually the one that picked out the name for Joel, and I don't know if you've seen, but she has his name tied on her wrist. Who? Joel's name. Who? Ingrid. Girl. Yeah, she has his name tied on her wrist. So Wait, she's. Why? The, Cause she used to be like, it was the first boy babe. Like she already had a big sister. She had, um, oh, sorry. She had a little sister, which was, which is the middle one. And then it was me. And then Joel was the first boy. So she was like obsessed with Joel, like mm -hmm. first boy, you know? And so she got his name tied on, on her wrist. And then I remember her being on the phone with my mom and I was like, no, tell him, tell her to put Rafael. <laughs> like what the f but she had the name tatted like she got to put that <laughs> no it oh, was after. After, yeah. after after okay, yeah okay. Dang, that is crazy she used to buy him a lot of shit like oh she used to work at sonic bro india used to work at sonic yeah but yeah we don't have any boy names i want something really different though something like something that means something it gotta have a meaning like you know if you stay like um oh cuantos how many kids well, first of all, Julian wants to have a lot of kids. Like, he told me he wants to have a kid, and then when they're 18, send them, like, to Italy, one to China, one to I don't <laughs> fucking know where, like... <laughs> no, 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 I just tough. said, look, this is why I said. I was like, I really want to spread my seeds everywhere, you know? So, like, I'm telling my kid, like, bro, you got to move. Like, I feel like the best way to grow up is moving from your home city because you got to explore somewhere new. But I'm going to tell my kids, yo, I'll get you a house in Italy. You got to go spread our family in Italy. You're going to go to, like, I want to be spread everywhere. And another thing that I'm going to 100% do, like, no matter what, we're adopting kids. Oh, yeah. He's talk we've talked about it. Yeah, I really want to change a kid's life. Like, those are somebody you can give another opportunity. But he wants to have a lot of kids. But, like, like me. 13. No, but, like, me, Max, I want to have three. Like, that come out of me, you know? So we have to adopt the other ones? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> So no, maybe five, five, to, five max. You have to adopt ten kids. <laughs> five max, like like my mom. My mom had five kids. All right, five. Five max that come out of me, and then we'll do like the Jesse. <laughs> they they adopted Ravi and Siri and Luke. Bro, no, yeah, yeah and I want to have like a diverse family, like yeah. Asian, African American, like all different kinds. Yeah. I know it kind of sounds bad, but I just really want to like. Yeah, I think it, it'll be good. I want to spread diversity, yeah. just like. We'll teach them. And like, yeah, all their cultures too. Like, like we'll get them culture, you know? Like, we'll make sure he knows all his yep. all his languages, his foods, all of that. We'll teach them how to season food, the white kids. <laughs> <laughs> the me kids, they're gonna come out white like me. But I think we actually are gonna start a family soon. <laughs> no, we're not. I no. mean, we're gonna get a little doggy. Oh, a doggy, yeah. Yes, we're gonna yeah, get a little doggy. doggy. I actually want to get a dog and a cat. I want both. What do you want first, though? I think a. a I think a, a dog first. Yeah. But what kind of dog? We don't know yet. Comment some dogs, I think. I, obviously, I'm pretty sure we're going to get something mixed with a poodle. But I don't know. If, I kind of want to get a small dog, like something that don't even grow. Like it's a cute little. Yeah, small that's dog. what I want, too. I've been But I also kind of want to get like a poodle, like a, a golden doodle or a labradoodle. Labradoodle, yeah. What is this? Body cream. Where am I gonna put it? In your hands, so it won't smell like Taco Bell. I don't know. I, I just want to get a dog already, like just to have another active human. But soul. There, I'm, I'm telling Julian soul. that he's gonna buy everything, or she, he, she, whatever. No, nah, we're training. We're she's treats. gonna buy everything. I've like. been watching a lot of dog training videos on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, I do. And they um. And oh, they, like the one that covers the thing, and he's like, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, all you gotta do is treats. It looks kind of easy. Okay. But. <laughs> then he's gonna do the training. Another thing, so I was on the phone with uh, Vicky, the editor, right? His, mm -hmm. name, his name's Vicky. And he was saying that Angel should be my sister, my brother. Oh, your brother. Yeah, he said since he's like 17 young, like yeah. I could just pay him. And if Angel came over, he's really good with taking care of things so he can help with the dog. Oh, doesn't he take care of Gian? He used to take care of Gian. 
Um, and I, I'm pretty sure he'd be down to take care of the dog. He'll get his own room. Like, you know, he'll help us take pictures, videos. But I don't know. I haven't really talked to him about it, but I want to. Maybe. But That's I, a good idea, actually. I know, but I don't know. Like, I don't want to take somebody away from my, from my mom. Oh, yeah. That's it's just going to be Gian and Gemini. Gemini, yeah. I don't know if I want to. Maybe they all should come. <laughs> if I could move them out this year, that'd be lit. Maybe, maybe one day, one day we'll have a big house and your family can live with us. Yeah, soon. This is going to be a big month, guys. But is there anything else you want to talk about, baby related? Mm, no. I just want to address, like, we're not having, like, a family soon. Yeah, no, nah, we take very yeah. uh, caution and um, yeah. we're being safe. Um, but guys, we're actually going to be doing a big prank soon. I'm not going to say who or what, but we're doing a prank. Since we hit 300k, we're going to start doing some banger videos. Um, we're going to start doing a little <laughs> couple pranks. Um, no, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. You're not going to prank me? Nope. All right, I'm going to prank her. <laughs> but Where you prank if me? you haven't yet, make sure you turn on notifications. Why are you touching my ass? Sorry. Click the bell. <laughs> um, click the bell. And if you haven't yet, guys, go follow us on Instagram and TikTok so y'all can keep up, keep updated with us off of YouTube because I know y'all be on all the other platforms too. It's all linked in the description. I appreciate you guys watching. Comment where is your favorite fast food restaurant? And an extra question is what should we cook? Um, if y'all watched the other video, which you should watch after this one, we spent $500 shopping, literally $500. What should we cook? Cause I want to do a cooking video again. Me and Rose Maybe um, chicken alfredo. Okay, we can do chicken alfredo. Yo, comment what else y'all think. Let me know. Adios.